and welcome back, friends. My name is Michael Yates. This is the Ridgeview Pod, where we try to cover everything hope, healing, and recovery related. We're so glad that you're back with us today. Uh, I am very blessed to have a guest. Uh, Barry Floyd is with us today. Welcome, Barry. Thank you, sir. It's good to have you. Uh, for our uh, for our guests, uh, tell us uh, who you are, what role you have here at Ridgeview, and uh, and then we'll pick it up from there. Okay, I'm Barry Floyd. Um, I work at Stepping Stones uh, PSR. Um, I help facilitate groups, and uh, I am also a Tennessee CPRS certified peer recovery specialist. Yeah, and you, as I recall, you just got that certification December of last year. That is correct. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's very uh, uh, very important work. Uh, and you've been uh, at Stepping Stones and with Ridgeview for about a year and a half. That, is, that is correct, right? sir. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, we're here to talk about this incredible uh, commitment that you've got uh, related to the uh, wounded warriors. So I see we've got the 2020 hat here, uh, carry forward 5k. Tell us a little bit about, uh, about this event. Uh, the carry forward event is an annual fundraising, uh, event, uh, wounded warrior does. Um, it brings everybody together. It doesn't matter if, um, you're able body, if you can move, you can do it. And it is a fundraising event to help facilitate the other programs that um, Wounded Warrior has. Uh, it helps with peer counseling, uh, helping families, uh, grants, and um, events like that. Well, I noticed, I went, I went to the website uh, and I went to your specific page. And it, it seems like everyone has a different purpose and mission right. behind why they're doing this. Right. Uh, you spoke to the importance of mental health. That is uh, correct. So tell me a little bit about that. I suffer from PTSD and depression myself. And I use exercise to, for lack of a better word, battle my demons. Um, and also, I do this for three people, Alan Johnson, Alan Espiritu, and Danny Buck. Um, Alan and Michael um, were lost in Iraq, but Danny uh, committed suicide. And he was a good, he was not only one of my sailors, but he was a friend. And that's why I do this is because of them three gentlemen and also for my own mental health well i it, that's an incredibly noble uh thing to do and i i uh i want to honor that and that commitment and i think it is uh it's not by accident that we're recording this at the beginning of September, which is National Suicide Correct. Prevention Awareness Month. So right. uh, how can people uh, support your effort? Um, you can go to WoundedWarriorProject.com, um, um, look for the Nashville 5K, and there's a bar there that says Search and Donate. You can put my name in there, Barry Floyd, and it'll um, bring them right directly to my page to donate to me specifically, or they can do an at-large uh, donation. And we'll, at this point of the episode, we'll put up a screenshot of what they can look for okay. uh, so that they can visually see. Um and I think we'll also complement the uh, the episode with some other photographs of right. you and past walks. Okay. Uh, so, well, tell me a little bit about your service. So you were in the Navy. Correct. And uh, tell me how long you served and in what, uh, what capacity. Um, I served 24 years. I was a uh, hospital corpsman which is the Navy's equivalent of an Army medic. 
Um, I spent predominantly of my time with the Marines because the Marines do not have their own medical. Um, and I spent time in California. That's where we were normally based out of. And I did uh, total eight deployments, uh, some to Japan, others to the Far East, uh, Singapore, and such like that. Um, one unit, we went to Jordan, and we were able to um, visit Oman, um, Kuwait, UAE, Dubai. I also did one, um, well, two um, war deployments, well, not war deployments, but combat deployments, one to Iraq and one to Afghanistan. Wow. You've, you've been around the planet. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it, uh, I'm inspired by the fact that you've taken your experiences that, uh, have had their own level of impactful trauma, right. uh, and have, you know, tried to make them a positive experience for others. And, uh, I suspect that, you know, the, our psychosocial rehab programs in our, uh, in the counties that we serve, they'll probably be tuning in to watch this. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of message do you have for those folks that may be watching? Uh, the biggest message is, is utilize your tools that you have, not only to better yourself, but to better our members who are part of our PSR program or whatever capacity is use your lived experience with some of them because and learn from them because you never know where you're going to learn something new yeah a constant refrain i have learned from doing this podcast is uh the importance of continuing to learn yes. and having a level of positive curiosity about other people mm -hmm. uh, as well as yourself right so that's uh that's a great gift well, Barry, I, I'm always interested in knowing how people take care of themselves. So you've spoken to the importance of exercise Correct. as being a, important for you and your recovery story. Right. Uh, what else, like a day in the life, what else do you, <laughs> what else do, you do to take care of yourself? Um, well, actually, right now, uh, I'm predominantly using my exercise as a way to take care of me and some of the people that might be watching this may think this is funny but every now and then i go get me a manicure yeah all right i go get me a manicure and as well as i'm back in school uh going for an associate's degree for social work fantastic well good for you thank good you for you that's awesome yeah i think i recently heard uh a, a group of UT football players uh, were speaking highly of the whole manicure and pedicure. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. I'm afraid that if I were to show these gnarly fingers and toes, I'd be kicked out the door. So. See, that's why I, know I don't get pedicures. <laughs> it's just a manicure. <laughs> <laughs> no one to say when, right? Yep. Well, this is great, Barry. I, I'm, I'm just so honored that uh, you would take time out to join us to tell us a little bit about your story, uh, why this is an important cause right. uh, to you, not just personally, but professionally. Right. Uh, I think, you know, we have, we've spent a lot of time trying to amplify the importance of a well body mm -hmm. can help promote a well mind. Correct. Um, and we've got a 5k ourselves coming up. Uh, Ridgeview is hosting its annual, uh, 5k on Saturday, October 30th. Correct. Yep. In Jackson square right here in Oak Ridge. And, and we're hoping folks might have a little fun with it by, uh, in whatever way you're participating, whether it's a walker, a runner, uh, or a volunteer, you can dress up uh in a halloween costume and we'll give an award out to uh the best costumed participant so i like that idea yeah 
Well, anything else that you want to make sure that we get out there for our listeners, Barry? Uh, the 5K that I'm participating in this year is October 2nd in uh, Nashville. And um, when I did the one in 2019, it was a great time. And I actually ran into some people that I hadn't seen in five to six years that we were stationed together. Wow. So, um, and I'll be carrying a big old three by five American flag. And I think we're going to put a photograph up showing you carrying that, uh, that big flag. Yes, sir. Well, so it's a bit of a homecoming then for you when, uh, you can see, uh, some of your old buddies. Yeah. Yeah. And we all really didn't expect to see each other. And then it's like, I know you. <laughs> and it's a brotherhood of military members. It doesn't matter what service you're in. We're all brothers and sisters. Yeah. Well, that's <clears throat> that is uh that's great. It's a, a poignant uh, message to this or the opportunities to reconnect with people uh, cuz we we do know and we celebrate the fact that we're all, you know, hardwired for connection and relationship mm-hmm. to one another so I'm glad that you you amplified that you know I, I think the uh, you know it's again since we're recording this at the beginning of National Suicide Prevention Month uh, I, I do I think we'd be remiss if we didn't you know, remember those that we have lost right. uh, to suicide and the fact that we all can help prevent suicide by making sure that we're checking in on one another and right. uh, that we are looking for signs and symptoms of people that are just not feeling well or doing well mm-hmm. uh, and making sure that we're, we're checking on them. So, Barry, my friend, thank you for coming in. Thank you. I just have one last piece, if I may. Sure. Uh, Everybody expects that everything is visual. I wear a tattoo that says not all wounds are visible. So do that check-in with your family. Do that check-in with your friends because that's how we stop suicide that it's beautifully said i think uh we do know sadly that one of the highest at risk uh groups are veterans Mm -hmm. uh, and active military personnel and uh, they're these are invisible wounds a lot of the time and there's an average of 22 veterans a day a startling statistic yes well let's uh let's all do our part to honor exactly what you're charging us to do and that is to be mindful of and attentive to those invisible wounds not only in uh in our veterans and active military personnel but in one another correct and that's key right there is it doesn't matter who it is just saying hi to them can change their mood I can't think of a better note to end on. Uh, beautifully said. Barry, thank you again. Come back. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, after your walk, yes, come sir. back and let's uh, hear how it went uh, and uh, see some pictures of you carrying that big flag around. I'll be more than happy to. Fantastic. Well, thank you. And thank you, friends, for tuning in. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have us spend a little time with you each week uh we hope you'll subscribe ring the bell and stay tuned for our weekly episode uh again i've been your host michael yates and this has been the ridgeview pod thanks so much and take good care